Suleiman Bashir Dian is chair of the Franco-German Research Fund on the provenance of cultural objects from sub-Saharan Africa. Thank you very much indeed for joining us on CGTN. Um, there are, of course, Thanks. millions of artifacts in Europe's museums. And now, as we were just hearing in Ross's report, some countries, um, we're seeing this renewed push to resolve disputes and return the exhibits to where they came from. Tell us about your work. How large is the volume of artifacts? facts that uh, your teams have to research and look into? Actually, the, the, the scientific council that I'm chairing is not itself working on the, those artifacts. What we are doing is uh, preside over research that we are asking uh, uh, scholars and museum directors to conduct in order to know exactly what uh, the amount of uh, artifacts they have in their museums uh, uh, is, and then for those researchers to uh, conduct research about the provenance of the cultural objects that are uh, sitting in, uh, in museums in France and, and, and Germany. So uh, the um, Scientific Council is just going to be supervising the research. We have already uh, um, put out a call for consortium to, 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 to do some research in the provenance of many cultural um, artifacts that are in, sitting in museums in France and Germany, because these are the two European con countries that uh, put together uh, uh, this, uh, this, this fund. Okay, and how important is it to tell the story of how these historical objects came to be on display, their, their context, if you like? It is, it is crucial indeed because, uh, as you just mentioned, provenance, the question of repatriation of objects that have been uh, uh, taken out of the African continent and the sub-Saharan part of the, of the continent is now a crucial question. It is a post-colonial question in a way, uh, in a very important way, because uh, audiences of museums are very aware of the, the problem and there is a pressure for museums to just conduct these kind of research, make clear uh, how uh, uh, the objects that ha they have in their in their museums uh, uh, came to be to be there, and it is also a question of fairness because if we do know we do know for a certain number of objects that they were looted after colonial uh, wars, the famous Benin bronzes are in that uh, situation, the. Uh, cultural objects that have been taken by France from the uh, kingdom of, of uh, uh, the last kingdom of the King Behanzin was also looted in the, at the end of the 19th century. Uh, so for those, we know exactly how they were uh, looted and taken to uh, uh, museums in France, in Germany, and in the case of the Benin bronzes in many different museums in the West in general. Cool. So, uh, mm. patriation is just a question of, of justice. Mm -hmm. Now, we have to be fair also to uh, museums who acquired maybe objects in a very le uh, regular and legitimate way, because there, was, there is trade as well, there is transaction. So, looking at the provenance would make clear exactly how certain objects, certain cultural artifacts are in museums and that is what we are going to supervise uh, with this uh, research fund. Well, fascinating stuff. We'll have to leave it there. Thank you very much, though, indeed, for joining us. Suleiman Bashir Dian.